But one, two, three. Well, folks, Ain't Misbehaving has got to be one of my favourite songs. Written in E-flat. Fat Swaller. Just a great piece of music. I hope you like it. And I'm going to post this lead sheet over the top of my backing track for you to make it a bit easier for to plonk along with and learn. Now, on the backing track there's a four-bar introduction and it just so happens it's the same set of chords that Fats played on one of his early recordings of Ain't Misbehaving from years back. So I'm going to play that for you real slow and I want you to try and pick it out by ear. That's the way I learned it and I think it's good experience for you if you can. And the other one is a line Louis used when he recorded this song and it comes in after the bridge just before the last eight of the song. And it's a chromatic rundown from E flat down to the octave below E flat. And it's done in triplets. So what I'm gonna do is play those two little lines for you and uh, might make it easier for you to learn. So here we go, intro. run down from the E flat. And there you have it. Now when you're playing along with a backing track, there's one important thing you can't do. If you make a mistake, don't stop and restart the track or wait till it goes back on the loop. What I want you to do is keep on playing. And the whole idea of that is, if you're in a band situation, they're not going to stop if you make a blue. <laughs> They're going to keep on playing. So you've got to learn how to get back on track. That's the best advice I can give you. And uh, as for the rest of the lesson, it's uh, a look and learn lesson. If you can pick something that I do that you want to learn off my clip, go ahead and try and uh, learn it because I think that's how all us banjo players learnt in the first place. Now, I just want to talk briefly about uh, the sad passing of Eddie Davis back in April. And uh, I tell you what, that was a hard pill to swallow. They were New York's darkest moments of the virus, and uh, I'm afraid that Eddie fought on, but he couldn't fight it off completely, and we lost him. But what a fantastic bloke he was. Uh, unbelievable. There was only one off of Eddie Davis. He, he was just the complete, passionate, you know, kind, generous person. And uh, I'm just so happy that uh, I've got a lot of good memories of Eddie. And I think those who met him or even viewed his many video clips on YouTube would feel the same way.
just a fantastic bloke. In actual fact, on Banjo Hangout, uh, <laughs> I used to refer to Eddie as Sir Eddie. He was fantastic. So it went on a bad note, but I'm sure if Eddie was here today, he, he'd be, just like he always was, he'd be working on his next video clip, sharing his stories on Banjo Hangout, and inspiring people, just like me, <laughs> to become better banjo players. All the best, folks, and uh, with a bit of luck, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. One, two, three.